Hi, George. There are no shortage of people who would like to hold events here, and despite the money coming in, city officials say they're concerned about mounting maintenance costs. Back in the 60s, somebody made a 50-year decision to build the Crate Center, and this is as big a decision as that. What do you do with it at this point? After 41 years on the waterfront, the future of the Crate Memorial Civic Center is unclear. The building once featured an ice rink. Keeping ice is a very expensive proposition, and it got to the point where the amount that we would have to charge uh, broomball teams, hockey teams, and those kinds of things really made it really difficult. Now it hosts everything from trick-or-treat on Safety Street, emergency drills, and even black tie events. The building brings in about $175,000 a year, but it's not enough to cover the cost of a new roof, something the building desperately needs. Early estimates on replacing the roof, which we think we can delay for a few years, is somewhere between $800,000 and a million dollars. The city may decide it's just too expensive to repair the crate center and it's more cost effective to find a new location. This newly acquired space, which is just by the waterfront, is one of the locations the city is considering. But every space comes with this challenge. You know, if I were to build something of, you know, public assembly down there, I'd have to be sure I could get emergency vehicles in and out, so I might have to build a bridge over the railroad tracks. The mayor says the plan is to continue making repairs for at least a few more years before deciding if a new roof is worth the investment. Older uh, tar paper, older mesh is a little more brittle, and so we've gone through and replaced those things and retired those areas, and you know, we expect that to hold for a matter of years. And frankly, we could go back in two or three years and, and fix all the cracks again. Deciding what to do with the Crate Center will be a collaborative decision. It is part of the city's greater waterfront development plan. Live in Plattsburgh tonight, I'm Allison Carey, WPTZ News Channel 5.